How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. The other day I was watching some compilation videos about cute and funny bearded dragons when I noticed something. If humans were the size of crickets, bearded dragons would be anything but cute or funny. So that inspired me to make a diorama. I jumped online, I found an awesome 3D rendering of a bearded dragon, I will link that below. I purchased it, I began printing it, and then I moved on to the base. I started with a foundation of half-inch XPS insulation foam cut down to the same size as the gesso board that my iPad had morphed into. I glued those together with some foam safe super glue. I then began slicing up additional pieces of thicker XPS at an angle and piling them up till I had a nice little cliff side that was the height I was looking for. Once all of those layers of XPS had been glued together, I began carving the cliff side to look more natural using a hot wire foam cutter. The foam cutter does a great job of removing volume quickly, but it couldn't create the horizontal lines that I was looking for, so I switched to my hand and a utility knife and began going to town on the surface until I was happy with the mostly organic look that I achieved. I scorched the rest of the surface with a butane torch till all of the unnaturally flat surfaces were gone, and then I cleaned up all of the foam bits, and I finally glued the cliff to the base which I also gave the torch treatment. After that, it was time to throw on some gloves. I keep this little reminder to wear gloves next to my gloves, just in case I forget. Thanks, craftsman. And I needed those gloves because obviously it was time for a terrain paste. I used some paper mache mix, plaster, and water, which I accidentally splashed on the diorama. Then I mixed up the paste thoroughly till it was this beautiful consistency and I spread it all over the ground at the base of the cliff as well as along the top of the cliff. I then mixed up some plaster paint and Mod Podge and I spread it all over the cliff face and the rest of the pink surfaces with a brush. The consistency of this stuff allows it to work into all the cracks without removing the detail. Next I sprinkled some pebbles and nestled them into the wet terrain paste using a brush and I went over everything with some sand which I sealed with isopropyl alcohol and watered down white glue. I then pressed some pre-made plaster rocks into the still wet mix and I set that aside to dry. After 24 hours the base had had enough time to dry so the next step was to take it outside and prime it. I had just finished priming the base and was waiting for that to dry when I was snuck up on by a bearded dragon. The print turned out really great, the file is awesome, huge shout out to Toterran for sculpting such a nice model. I took the lizard outside to prime, and then for the human element of this build I needed some people in specific poses that I didn't have, so I'll have to do a little repurposing. This little Tom Waits figure was originally panning for gold, but after removing his pan, he's now reaching down to help his buddy up the cliff. This little guy, known as Kentucky Rose, was tilling the soil, but once his gardening tool was clipped away, he was now just hanging on to a rope for dear life. This last figure was doing something with hay, but after a little work, now he's pulling on the rope that his friend is holding on to. I glued each of the figures to a painting base side by side, and I did the same thing for some pack mules which are carrying all the goods that these gentlemen have just finished hoisting up the cliff. After the figures had been primed, it was time to start painting. The story of this diorama was inspired by a suggestion from Will Laidlaw on Instagram. Thank you for the suggestion, Will. These three outlaws heard about some treasure in the wreckage of a stagecoach that had been run over a cliff into this canyon a few months back. There's no easy path in or out of this section of the canyon, so a trip up and down via rope is the fastest way. Only problem is that a giant bearded dragon lives in the canyon. These gents had had a very successful time getting down, grabbing the gold, and hoisting it out, but the last guy got a little greedy. On his last climb up the rope, a gold bar that he had hidden from his friends fell from his pocket and down to the ground below, so he went back to get it. His friends protested, but he went anyway. Unfortunately, by this time, Big Beardy was awake and aware of their presence and had made his way to where they were in the canyon. Hopefully, the guy gets out all right, but as things sit right now, it's not looking too hopeful. After finishing up the paint job on this bearded dragon, which I am pleasantly surprised by, it was time to move on to the terrain. 
I painted up the landscape to look like a canyon somewhere in the southwest of the United States, most likely Utah or Arizona. I'm now aware that bearded dragons are not endemic to the U.S., and I was actually thinking of a horned lizard when I decided on that animal. Uh, but this is the wild imaginary west, so anything's possible, I guess. After sprinkling some flocking on the top of the cliff, it was time to glue the bandits in place. After the figures were all in position, I carefully glued on the rope, which was a far more finicky task than I had anticipated. I did eventually get the rope glued in place, and after that, I followed it up with some miniature plant life from Diorama Persepe. I went back and dry brushed some highlights onto the rocks, and in case you're wondering what happened to the Black 3.0, I was in the process of ordering more when I saw that they were releasing Black 4.0. I put my name on the waitlist, but I'm currently number 279. If you use the referral link in the description, it will bump me up the list, meaning I'll be back in Black 3.0 and 4.0 just a little sooner. After the sides had been painted, I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Huge shout out as always to my patrons. You guys are the best. Have an awesome week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.